Roger de Serge. Would you mind telling us how old you are? 64 years and two months. I was born 20th of February 1946. Gosh, where were you born? I was born in Camden Town, in Arlington Road, which runs parallel to the High Street. And you went to school? Richard Cobden School, and then Haverstock until I was 15. When did you come to the East End? Hang on. 19, well, yeah, 1972. Long time ago. Mm -hmm. What made you come here? I married a woman. Did you really? I'm still married to her, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, we lived in Hyams Park, then Walthamstow. Then we had a chance to buy uh, where we live now, in North Chingford. And uh, we grabbed it with both hands. Because she's got disabilities, um, she's got mental illness, etc. Um, it's easy to manage. I'm very lazy. <laughs> That's why I've got a cleaner comes in every week now. Because she's 62 and I'm 64. We've been married 37 years, uh, three months. I do have a boyfriend. I spoke to him this morning. He's in Aberdeen at the moment, but he's on a little bit of a holiday with some old friends. He lives regularly in Newcastle, and he's getting a bloody hard time at the moment. Yeah. Tyres damaged twice, aerial damaged, uh, abusive text messages. I've seen the flat advertised locally, and um, I've got a, I've got the number written down at home, but I've got to sort of take some time tomorrow to ring the number up and uh, see uh, it's going. He has also got disabilities. He's had a stroke down one side, but he can drive a car. And uh, uh, on his part, there's a lot of jealousy, but. Uh, we're doing the best we can. We're going to sort of try and bring him down here. And um, how did we meet? There's a gay church that meets here. And that's how we met. Where's the gay church? Where's he? Here. Meets here every Sunday. Brilliant. Love it. Are you Christian? Yes, I am. Uh, <coughs> I go to an open Anglican church in North Chingford. They're very, very nice. Stop that bloody noise. Um, and um, I also come to MCC. Matter of fact, tonight, when I've left you, I'm going uptown to have a look at something. And I've got a All Churches Pride meeting tonight. And uh, for the first time since I've known it, uh, we're all getting together and marching as one voice, which is an excellent thing. Uh, because the newspapers always project those who hate us. They are supposed to be Christians. Do me a favour. I'd also do locally police work for the LGBT people in Wilson Forest. Um, I'm also on the Borough Community Safety Board and I do ward panel work for the Met and the local community. Do you ever have time for yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Facebook in the morning and in the afternoon. Um, sometimes, yeah. I do have a social life. We are fortunate now to have a a fairly well established gay night once a fortnight at the Victoria pub. It was two stuff. Well, originally, years ago, we had two completely gay venues. One dropped off, closed. The other one changed hands. Central Station, Walthamstow. 
Somebody took it over. It was um, mysteriously burnt down. Uh, and then, all of a sudden, Paul, who I've got to know, the guy that runs Lit, and Ashley, started up uh, Gay Night at the Vic, where I go in every fortnight. Paul also runs Club Click in the lower half of uh, Hope Street. Um, it's on a Friday night, and if I tend to go out, I tend to go out on a sun Saturday night and go out with some of the boys from church afterwards over the holidays, and most, most Sunday evenings. Did you come out officially? Oh, yeah. <laughs> to a married man, to come out to your wife after 25 years is like the death sentence. But I will say something, and uh, I'm, not, I'm not afraid to say it. I can't perform. I had my prostate done when I was 58, and my libido has gone out the window. Richard, Ricky, same problem. But with his uh, stroke, he also can't perform. It's not the be-all and end-all of a good relationship. So a good relationship is founded on, I think, as a Christian, the love of God in Christ Jesus. And God has brought us together. And we're, we're just loving it. Carry on. What, what did you want to say? I was going to ask you, what um, did your wife make of it when you came Not to very much, but she... Uh, she accepts it because 80% of the time, as a carer, I'm there. Um, she has a little whinge occasionally, but uh, I don't do anything in the house with Ricky or any other of my friends. Uh, two rules. Not in the house, not in church. The only thing in church, when we take communion, when I'm with Ricky, we always go up hand in hand. That I insist on. Certain people in the church, not sort of, mm, you know, He's got a wife, he's playing away. I... Oh. So, you know, you get, you get that, but it's easy. Um, I'm well enough now because I've been doing... I've been doing Pride for 10 years. I've been, this is my 11th season coming up. And I've been doing Pride in Brighton for, for 10 years. This is my 10th season. Excellent. Excellent. I mean, two of my best friends. One's the chief inspector, uh, and the other one's my the, the sergeant that runs the the um, GLBT group, and most of the others. The police's attitude in Waltham Forest is um, since they started the GLBT group, uh, Sergeant Jan Henry, and most of the people that are there, they're as good as, they're as, good as gold. Um, crime reporting, I mean... In some aspects, I suppose they're a bit lax. They're a bit sort of, you know take it down the scale of um, priorities. Um, I've never heard of any poli police brutality locally to gay, gay men or women. If I did, I'd jump on them like a dose of sorts, I can promise you, because nobody treats them better than what they could, would treat me. And they treat me like that, you know. Um, it's well known that Walther Forest has got two, two of the biggest um, cruising places, the Hollow Ponds and 
another one, but um, I mentioned it to a friend of mine who worked for the council, and uh, the ward sergeant, which happened to cover my area, was down there, you know, checking up, and eventually uh, one of the operatives here will go and do some outreach out there because it's all right in pubs and clubs and all that sort of thing. But if they, um, if they took a light into um, other places, um, they'd find that there would be an awful lot more that they could do outside of the pubs and clubs, you know. Um, I mean, the pol police in Waltham Forest are alerted that there is now a couple of venues. They haven't paid us a visit yet, uh, but I keep sort of tugging their chain, pulling their chain, saying, why don't you come and show your face, you know? I mean, all right, we're in a closed environment, we're chatting, we're drinking, whatever. It's a case of um, what happens after that. No concern of mine. Only if I get a story that so and so went, picked up so and so, and they, uh, on their way home or on their way out to the house, they were assaulted or anything like that. But you, you don't read it in the papers. You don't read it on fact sheets, which I get from Walter Forest Council. Um, but dealing with the police, even at Pride, they leave it to the people that know. You get a couple of officious people occasionally. Uh, but um, provided it's done behind closed doors, there's no problem. But um, they do like to make their presence felt that they are concerned. And when you have got gay officers who are assigned specifically to gay matters, you get a more sympathetic view. And there's right, right to uh, superintendent, assistant chief constable outside of London. You've got all ranks. It's like the army, you've got all ranks. A lot choose to say, I am gay or I am a lesbian, whatever. But a lot of them, you know, it's like the American thing is don't tell, don't ask, don't tell. So, um, have you ever been abused or attacked? No. Um, Verbally abused, yeah, but you know, I'll put in that and out that. I'll just let it pass. So tell me about your your look. Uh, my demeanour. Uh, quite frankly, I wear my gay triangle, MCC. East London, uh, MCC uh, logo, that's the former one, and that's the present one. That's my membership ring that I had done. That's my ring, it's got Roger and Ricky. Always wear the rainbow rings and the MCC earring. Got the pendant under here, MCC pendant. I love MCC. And I've just got a fine cross and chain. I've got loads and loads of other jewellery I could wear if I wanted to. And that one, I've got just a, a bracelet that I had made. It's got, on one side, it's got Roger. On that side, it's got Ricky. Uh, 